kill parts. We're going to do an unboxing this one. Okay guys, uh, thanks for tuning in to our channel, Bearded Lumber. Uh, we appreciate you watching. Uh, we appreciate it more than you could ever imagine. Well, but what I got behind me here is a uh, package we picked up from Woodvisor in Lumberton, North Carolina, probably two months ago. We, we was kind of waiting on them and then uh, fell behind on our building and this ended up waiting on us. But this is what we ordered and picked up from Woodvisor. It's a KD250 KD wood kiln package, comes with two fans. We ordered additional fans. Uh, Joe Whitley, the, guy, the uh, owner at Wood Miser, uh, Carolinas recommended uh, extra fans. He, he said, hey, you might as well get them now, you gotta have them. So we went ahead and took his recommendation and ordered them. I'm not a big fan of unboxing videos, but uh, I hadn't opened them, looked at them opened one box and looked at it but I hadn't opened the boxes and looked and before I ordered this kiln I wish somebody had put a video like this out you know it's very it would be very informative before I wrote the check for what this cost but uh, it may be a little dull but we're gonna go through it piece by piece see what's in the boxes see what instructions we got didn't get you know been there before so thanks for tuning in and let's uh let's get to it Okay guys, uh, those boxes are the same as this box. They're all fans. Well, I take it back. This one's not a fan. <laughs> same box, but it's not a fan. This is why I bought a wood visor kiln. I can build a box, I can make heat, but this is the brains. This is what I paid the money for, is to run this kiln to where I don't have to. We go through and set all the parameters, say it's run, supposedly once or twice a day, check on it, leave it alone. There's nothing in the box but this, and all your cables, you gotta go in and kill different things, probes, I hope there's instructions in here somewhere. A whole lot there to see. Okay. Give me one of those fans, we'll do it. I hadn't looked at one up close. Right. So where's the camera angle? Hang on for just one second. All 
Okay, we're back from the technical difficulties. I'm open one of them up so see if I said that's any kind of clear. This has been a third beard sabotage. You'll never catch me. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. You guys hanging in there? It's been a rough morning for us as well. I'll tell you already, I'm not happy with their packaging. They can hire better people to pack their product. Okay. Motor piece of plywood and one worthless piece of paper. Not worthless, but it's got some. Still no instructions. They would be handy to have. Okay, here's your, your pan shroud where you without having to look, I can pretty well tell you the motor's gonna mount on there. Probably this way. Everything in the box looks good, besides no instructions. They're very, very poorly packaged. You can see how bad those boxes right there look. They look horrible. And I, I have done nothing to make them any worse. That's, just, that's the way they showed up. But when I went to pick this up, they were they sorted me a couple fans that had to ship them UPS and they showed up even looking worse. So we're gonna try a different camera mount here in just a second, get you better situated. We're gonna try something different. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna try to talk a little louder. Let me move your way. I got the, I got the fan right in my back. It is hot. Hey, first piece of paper. Uh, apparently, we have a, a non powered bit. I don't know if you can see this bag, but that's all your uh, probes that you use to go into the wood. They appear to be in three different lengths. Okay, that's all that's in there. I say it's the first piece of paper we got. I actually 
actually have this. I printed it, printed off live a couple months ago. Oh. I just going to it real quick. Uh, kind of a how-to guide on building your own kiln. Got some recommendations on moisture tables. Yeah. If, you're, if you're looking for a step-by-step -step guide, like you put a piece of Ashley furniture together, this ain't going to be it. There you go. One second, we're going to modify the table. There we go. Him and I both walked into it one time too many, so that would be the last. We, we will go... We started our kill video series yesterday, and uh, we'll be going deeply into depth on everything here as we're installing it. But uh, for today, just for my peace of mind, I want to see what, what's actually in the boxes, what we got to work with, what's here, what's not here. Okay. Let's see here. Last piece we got is gonna be the air handler. Get you off the wall so you can see it. This is this is their air handler right out of the box. Here's our, our electrical inlet. I don't know if you can see inside here. Here's your fan and your heating coils below it. Not a whole lot to it, guys. And here's your pre-screen filter. And this is a wood miser. KD 250. That is that is all of it. That's everything we got in the boxes. I know it's kind of short, but uh, you learned as much as I did. This is what what you get. That being said, do not buy one of these units and think it's you're just going to take it home and plug it in. There's a, it's a there's a lot more to that. I knew that buying this unit, I knew that building this uh, kiln by hand was going to be a, a challenge. But uh, to buy whether, well, you know, we, we call it a wood miser, but we know it's a Nile 200. That's who makes them, that's who sells them wood miser. But to buy whether well, units prepackaged, uh, you're forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 every day. And that, in itself was not the issue their their units they have made are narrow they're container style and to put a container style on our property and have a track that extended out another 24 feet 30 feet into our working area was just not feasible money and that was the main reason we built this hill we built it the size we wanted we built it to handle the quality of lumber we want uh, we got 20 foot doors for a reason. The kiln's 24 foot wide for a reason. I can double stack this kiln easily. You know, two bays deep, six, eight foot tall, no problem. I got 10 foot ceilings. You know, our goal is if we're gonna have to run oak for a month, we're gonna fill it up. You know, I know we can't do that with pine. There's an issue with too much board, feed, board footage and moisture. 
But uh, all that being said, I'm just trying to tell you, if you buy one of these, know what you're getting into, there's a lot that's going to have to happen when it shows up on your property. Well, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, I know you're going to have questions. Just send them to me. We'll try to answer them. Uh, we're learning on this journey, just like you. But we're going to post a video every step of it up till we get this thing running. And then we'll start doing some videos, hopefully, of drying lumber. Thanks for tuning in to Bearded Lumber. If you would, please like, subscribe, and share. We greatly appreciate it. And send your comments. I don't know everything, but uh, I'll try to answer them or get you some information to help you. Have a good day, and we'll see you at the mill.